and welcome back to the MLS Denim slash Miss Lacey Studios YouTube channel. I'm so happy to see you all. Today we are going to be working on the jeans that I have been talking about eh, for a little while. But we are going to just de-stress the hockey puck out of them, okay? So in order to do this, you will need a couple of things. Um, of course, we have our trusty sandpaper, of course the tweezers. You will need some chalk or Taylor's chalk. It's really kind of up to you what method you wanna use. I always, of course, as you know, use chalk to make sure that I get everything that I want so I can kind of look at it and get a broad kind of view of everything. Uh, of course, you will need some bleach, an old toothbrush, and of course sewing scissors so these are going to be your main things um as we go on if you do see that you probably want to use a couple of other things definitely feel free to do that this is definitely up to you um make sure also that you probably will need like a little cup or something because you're going to probably either want to pour the bleach out into a little cup or you can use the cap i'm probably going to use the cap because I'm just so used to using this sometimes because I don't want the fumes to get to be um, too much. But if you do decide to use a lot of bleach, definitely please, please, please use a face mask. Of course, in these times, I'm sure everyone at least has one face mask, if not a couple, especially the disposable ones. And probably some gloves if you intend on bleach, doing a lot of bleaching. I'm not going to be doing too, too much, but I definitely will be using a face mask just so the fumes won't get me a little too lightheaded if you get my draft. All right, so what we're going to do now, move these things out of the way. I'm going to get my chalk. I kind of have a little description, a little photo of what I want my jeans to look like this time. Let me go ahead and bring those up. I want you to see the code. Okay. So these are the ones that I'm going to try to mimic a little bit. Not too, too much, but I just like how big the holes and stuff are. So I'm going to try to make it look like that. I don't know if you can see it too well. But, yep. All right. Let's go. So I have sketched where I am going to cut the strips as well as where I am going to de-stress and probably use the sandpaper. So what I am going to do first, I don't typically do the sandpaper, uh, which is of course I believe is the term is called grinding. What I'm going to do, just gonna take my pants, just gonna take the sandpaper, I'm gonna push the denim up and just start rubbing. And because these jeans are so old, you will actually, well, depending on how old your jeans are, if you can see here, you can already see how it's already starting to peel away the first layer. So that's pretty much just what you want. You don't want to get it to the point where there's literally a hole, but you can see little white threads already. So that's what you want. So you can kind of do that throughout on the jeans if you want. I'm gonna do it on a couple more places because you don't want to do it too close to where there are going to be bigger holes because depending on how your jeans react to the holes, it could actually make an even bigger hole, which you 
you don't want, um, if you're trying to wear these out to a lot of different places, you just don't want to just have big, big holes. I don't know if you've ever seen those like homemade jeans where you're just looking like, oh yeah, they did that in like five minutes. That's why their jeans look like that. You don't want your jeans, you don't want your jeans to look like that. I'm gonna do this as well um, on the back too. Just gonna do it in a couple of places. Let's kinda see how it looks. focus I can't see but yeah so you can see there sorry can I get that worn look there so I might do a couple more times but other than that I am going to do the strips and I am also going to do the little ripping portion as well so I'll start up here uh, just like I did in the other video just gonna take it and the only reason why I'm doing this up here where the um, at the top is because there's a pocket here so I can kind of put some holes and stuff here because my underwear is not going to be showing. Whereas I definitely would not put like a big hole here, big hole here or anything like that. So up here is fine. Cause like I said, if you can see there, the pocket is gonna be covering it up. So you're good. Just make sure you don't cut the pocket. So just kind of make sure want to kind of grab the pocket gather it up a little bit just so that you'll know so I just kind of flip mine up like that so then I'm going to cut it the only thing under there is my finger because I don't want to cut so deep that it goes to the other side of my jeans so now I'm able to just do here Same thing here as just like I did in the other video I do like to make tiny little holes here and there so just like before you get under the jean I use your fingernail just kind of make little holes and of course what this will do is after you put it in the washer when you take it out these will be little fuzzy holes which looks really cool um, if it comes out right, so let's kind of make those kind of wherever you think is best. And I probably will go back and do more of these. Just trying to kind of figure out where I want them to be the most. And it's also really cool if you do a bunch of these kind of in the same area too. 
That's also really cool to do. And you can make them different sizes too. You don't have to make them all like super, super tiny. Those are just a couple of holes. So now, you're gonna take your tweezers. You can start at the top or the bottom. Sometimes depending on if the threads are really, really stubborn at the top, you might actually have better luck at the bottom. So I'm gonna start taking it. So these are coming out pretty easily, which is great. Of course, it's because it definitely is an older pair of jeans, so the threads are more relaxed. They're not as tight because they have been worn, they have been washed. So the threads are definitely softer and they're probably not as close together either. So that's why when people typically want to distress or do different things with jeans, I always say going to the thrift stores is the best place because the jeans have already been worn. They've already kind of been broken in as people would say. So it makes your job a little bit easier. I know it definitely makes mine easier. So I'm going to do this to the places that you saw and I probably will do it to a couple of other places too on the jeans, but of course you'll see it on the video. And also, uh, just so that you're aware, your hand is probably gonna hurt after you do this because I mean, you're literally taking it and pulling it and pulling it. So it's a lot of strain on your wrist. So definitely make sure that you take breaks. I know that I do, I definitely do massage my wrist. I think I definitely did talk about that also um, in another video. But uh, just for those who are doing this for the first time, just to let you know, just be aware, your, and, your hands and your wrist will definitely be sore and they definitely will be a little bit of, of throbbing depending on how big of um, a space you're trying to do this technique in. So just, uh, just be aware and just be mindful of that, y'all. You know, definitely take care of your hands because God only gave you two you need to make sure that you take care of them. So, all right, let's go. marked up at the top are now distressed and so now what I'm going to do is everywhere where I've marked off I'm just going to take my scissors um, like for example here I'm going to take my scissors I'm just going to cut a big hole here um, in this space I'm going to do this again I'm probably going to do that where some of the squares are and then other than that I'm going to cut strips all the way down probably we'll do a couple of long holes here 
and then we're gonna turn over and do the same thing on the other side. So just follow along with me and you can just see um, how I create everything. All right. Okay, so you see, I have distressed all the way down on both legs. I had to take a break because my hands were starting to cramp up dealing with these distressed patches. Um, but yeah, so I am done with the front. And so I am going to I'm gonna do the bleach next and then I'm gonna turn over to the other side um, and distress that. So I'm gonna do the bleach first because I don't want to do the bleach after I have all these holes because then it will just bleed to the other side and you never know how that's gonna look. So make sure of course we got some bags and things that you can put underneath or in this case actually not underneath but in between the pants legs so that it does not bleed on the other side going to do some splatter and then I'm just going to move the bag around to wherever I want the splatter to go. I'm not going to, you know, stuff it all the way down with multiple bags because I'm not going to be doing that much splatter like I said previously. So I'm not going to need a lot, but I am going to use my toothbrush, my bleach, and the cap. So I'm going to do this on both sides. So Let's go ahead. Okay, so I am done doing the bleach techniques. Going to see what this looks like. I'm going to let it dry overnight. Uh, it does take a little while for the bleach to come to the surface, depending on how thick it is. So I'm going to let it dry overnight and I will come back tomorrow to see how it looks. If I don't like it, I might do a little bit more. And then depending on how it looks after that, then I'll turn over on the other side and begin the distressing techniques on that side as well. So, all right. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to day two of distressing some jeans. So as you can see, the bleach definitely did take and this is exactly how I wanted it. I did not want a lot of it. Um, so it looks really, really good. I just like the speckled look. You can see it all here. So now that we are done with the front, we we'll turn over and do the back. I am going to take these pieces out. Okay. All the 
the debris from yesterday. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to definitely be mindful of the butt cheeks. So I'm going to just do a little butt print there. And of course, like I said before, you can definitely do whatever you want to to the back pockets. Um, even up here a little bit if you if you want to, it's kind of up to you. But for the most part, I am going to do all my distressing from here and down. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch it, lay it out, and I will come back to you. All right. Okay, so I am going to do exactly what I did on the other side. Already drawn and mapped out what I'm going to do. So I'm going to definitely do the patches. I'm going to do the slits, of course, or the strips. I'm going to do the little holes. And that's about it. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Same thing on this side. Only thing that's different on the back side is I'm not doing as much distressing as far as the patches and stuff uh, because it is on the back. Kind of want to tread lightly with doing too much detail on the back because you never know kind of how that's going to look. So I'm just kind of steering clear of that and doing more strips on this side. Definitely going to do some bleaching more so probably on the legs. Not so much, maybe at the top too much, maybe a little bit on the pockets, maybe do some little detail there. But for the most part, that's going to be what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna stick to the basics on the back. All right. so as you can see I am done with the distressing I have cut the strips also cut the holes also use the bleach use the sandpaper and now I am just going to wait for the bleach to rise to the top going to see how light it gets hopefully it looks just as good on this side as it does on the other side and then of course once that is done I'm going to go ahead and put the jeans in the washer um, dry them of course and then I will come back to you and show you the finished product all right Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, or subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.